to another trip report. Today we're flying Japan Airlines business class from Tokyo to London, so let's go check it out. Hello and thank you for joining me on this 6,000 mile journey from Tokyo to London on Japan Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. Today we'll be flying business class and checking out the JAL Sky Suite. These particular seats feature on the Boeing 777-300ER and select Boeing 787 models. After security, we had about an hour to spare and visited the JAL Lounge, which was renovated towards the end of 2019. There's plenty to eat and drink and keep you entertained for your hour or two stay in the lounge. Our Boeing 777-300 taking us to London was delivered to JAL in the summer of 2005. Boarding is called strictly in groups associated to the class level you are flying, and JAL have a strict enforcement policy on this, which is actually quite nice to see compared to other airlines. In business class, there are 49 open suites, which are laid out in a 232 configuration, but don't worry, every seat has direct aisle access. All of the business class seats are fully flat beds and feature a large amount of legroom. And you also have a 23 inch LCD monitor, retractable privacy partition, and your choice of bedding when you choose to have a sleep if you want to do so. Awaiting at your seat when you arrive are your slippers, headphones, and your amenity kit. To me, the open suites feel really nice. There's certainly enough personal space around you where you don't feel claustrophobic and cramped, but there's also enough privacy where you don't feel like other people can actually see you. Before pushback, you were offered your choice of champagne, orange juice, or a soft drink. Naturally, I had to go with champagne. And then the crew come around to offer cardigans to people in business class during the flight, but no pajama bottoms. Today, our flight time from Tokyo to London would be 12 hours and 38 minutes. We pushed back just behind schedule and made our way to the runway for departure. It was a really nice clear and sunny day for takeoff, so we were treated to some spectacular views as we climbed out of Tokyo. After passing 10,000 feet, the crew came around and handed out hot towels to everyone and also came around to take orders on what you wanted to drink. The menus handed out by JAL are very extensive. To save time on the video, I'm just showing you the Western menu and the Japanese menu main highlights. If you want to see the full menu, please click the link in the top right to see the full uncut version of this video. Every time I fly Japan Airlines, I always find their attention to detail to be absolutely flawless and really amazing. And this time around, it was no exception. Just the presentation and the way they pay attention to detail is really nice and makes the flight really enjoyable. On today's flight, I did decide to go for the Western menu. I know, I know, the Japanese menu is fantastic and I often have that as well. The hors d'oeuvre plate was actually fantastic, some really great items to get you started for your main meal. Very delicious and really well presented. For my main I had the Wagyu beef sirloin steak which was absolutely fantastic. Cooked really well and not too fatty even though it is quite a fatty piece of meat. Delicious as always. The meal was then finished with a piece of matcha green tea cake. And as always, because I do love cheese, I had to get the cheese plate to show everyone and show you how good it was. Eh, the cheese plate is definitely not as good as the first class cheese plate, but it is better than some other airlines offer in business class. To finish the service, I was then handed another hot towel and asked if I wanted anything else to drink, so I decided to have some Baileys and some snacks. And Wi-Fi is available throughout the duration of the flight with some really good speeds as well. Uh, the price is a little high, but it's definitely worth it if you need to use it. After the main meal service is complete, to not disturb people during the remainder of the flight, all of the meals can be ordered via your remote control and brought directly to you if you decide you're hungry again. I think this is a really great way to not disturb people in the cabin and also give you more food options if you want them. The Western in-flight entertainment options are on the relatively slim side, but they are all modern and up-to-date with a good picture quality. Before testing out the bed, I changed into the wonderful cardigan that was handed out by the crew 
and then I went and lowered the seat and made it myself. Now, if you get the crew to make your bed for you, they do offer you a choice of mattresses to sleep on and will also make the bed for you, which is a much better choice than what I did. With this being a western bound daytime flight during the winter time, we did get to experience the cool feeling of going from daytime to nighttime to daytime on a westbound flight which doesn't happen very often. This meant that we sailed into perfect pitch black darkness before emerging once again into daylight. This doesn't happen that often as I said, but when going so far north during the winter time, you can experience this cool effect. At this point in the flight we were several hours away from London and I was starting to feel hungry again. So I fired up my in-flight entertainment remote, added my items to my basket, ordered them to my seat. This time I decided to have the legendary JAL the curry, which is basically a beef katsu curry, but it is absolutely delicious and always goes down with a great beer or maybe two. And with just one hour to spare, I also decided to have the Spanish omelette as my arrival meal, which was actually really delicious as well. Well done JAL. So in my own personal view, if flying non-stop from Tokyo to London, I would certainly pick Japan Airlines over British Airways any day of the week. I've yet to try ANA Airlines, but I do hope to try them in the future. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, and I'll see you again soon for another video.